how can we improve your marketing to achieve better business performance? A good way to approach this question is to think about your company's marketing efforts with a structured marketing concept. I'm Matthias Blausal, and in this video, I'm going to explain such a marketing concept called the marketing mix, which is also known as the four P's. The four P's stand for product, price, place, and promotion. And you're in the right place to learn more about the right combination of place, product, price, and promotion. Let's get right into it. The four P's stand for product, price, place, and promotion. The four P's cover the key aspects you need to consider to successfully market your product. We can use this framework to gain a deeper understanding of your operational marketing, including what you sell, to whom, at what price, where, and how best to communicate the value of what you sell to your customers. The four P's work well for products, but for services, you may want to consider using the seven P's framework. The seven P's framework adds more key aspects that are particularly relevant to services, namely people, process, and physical evidence. This element of the marketing mix includes all decisions related to the product. The product is what your company offers for sale in the marketplace. In marketing, we take a customer-centric view of the product concept. This means that the product is the benefit or satisfaction the customer will have as a result of the purchase of the product. The product must satisfy the customer's needs and desires. Otherwise, the customer will not buy the product. A good starting point is to understand the customer's perceived value of your product. You can ask questions such as, who are the target consumers segments? What consumer needs does the product address? How is the product positioned, for example, premium or value for money? What is the core benefit of the product and what is the expected product? What is the unique selling proposition of your product? Other points are the physical aspects of the product, such as quality, features, design, branding, or product variants. If you have multiple products, you need to consider how the product fits into your product mix and coverage of the target market. The services around the product also play a role, such as warranties, service during the sale, and any after-sale services. Now I will give an example of a product decision, namely product color. This example highlights the product concept in marketing. Colors play an important role in the design of the packaging and the product itself. Apple used white for its earbuds as an extension of its white iPhone or earlier iPod. Making the brand visible even when the device was hidden in a pocket. Thus, the color took on a signaling function in terms of status and leveraging brand awareness. As you can see, Apple sold not only the ability to listen to music, which is the obvious feature of the product, but also the status and the overall image that the Apple product reflected to its owner. This element of the marketing mix includes all decisions related to the pricing of your product. Price can be understood in terms of the monetary amount the customer pays, but also the total sacrifice your customer must make to obtain the product. This can include not only money, but also the time and effort required to obtain the product. The fundamentals of pricing are your cost structure, fixed and variable costs, the value of the product to the customer, which determines the price you can charge, the price elasticity of demand, and your strategic goals such as company survival, market skimming, or driving competitors out of the market. It is tempting to lower prices to undercut competitors and stimulate demand. However, remember that price can be a signal of product quality and is a very important factor for consumers in deciding whether to buy or not to buy a product. In general, price increases reduce demand. However, price does not always reduce demand as illustrated by the Viblian effect. 
It is important to remember that the price of your product should reflect your long-term marketing strategy, such as the position of your brand and the stage in the product lifecycle. Two of the generic business strategies described by Porter are cost leadership and differentiation, which are useful in thinking about competitiveness, the market, and pricing. Of course, a sensible pricing strategy should be financially viable and result in a reasonable profit margin or cover your costs if you're a nonprofit organization. Pricing should also be responsive to the market, but never dilute the strategic positioning of your brand. Therefore, price reductions, such as discounts, should be used wisely. As an example of pricing, consider wedding dresses. The prices of wedding dresses are usually set at levels that include high markups, often around 400%. Now, why can they charge a price with such a high markup? The reason is that the price reflects the situational context of the consumer and her desire to acquire this particular product. So you can see that if you have a comprehensive understanding of the value of your product, your target segment, and the buying context, you can get closer to setting a price that will benefit you the most. Or in other words, a price that is closer to the consumer's maximum willingness to pay. If you did not consider the consumer's situation and context, you might have set a much lower price, unnecessarily squeezing your margins. Still, consider the impact of the price you set on demand so you can maximize your overall profits. However, think long-term and stay true to your strategic brand positioning to make an informed decision about short-term pricing and your pricing strategy. Place affects all decisions related to the distribution of a product. A distribution channel bridges the gap in time and space between supply and demand to make the product available when the consumer wants it. For example, if you want a chocolate bar, you can go to the store and get one right now. But it had to be manufactured and made available in the supermarket beforehand so that it was available when you wanted it. So an essential question of the place element of the marketing mix is, where do you want to sell your products? For example, do you want to sell your luxury clothing line in an out of town outlet or in a downtown store? So what are the optimal distribution channels to reach your target customers? But you need to know the process of getting the product to your customer at the right time. This means you need to know your logistics, such as product quantities, transportation, delivery times, manufacturing times, and inventory levels. You need to make sure that your product is in the right place at the right time and not out of stock when a consumer wants to buy it. The product must be available when the consumer wants it. So in a world of 24 hour delivery, you must carefully plan your logistics from manufacturing to inventory to point of sale. Promotion refers to all marketing communication activities. Marketing communications inform and persuade, but also build relationships with customers. Typical communication tools include advertising, direct marketing, PR, which is public relations, personal selling, sponsorships, and sales promotions, of course. You can approach promotion systematically with frameworks such as the marketing communications mix, what you should never forget is to make your promotion consistent with the other piece. All communication channels use should be integrated to maximize the impact of your marketing message. Any inconsistencies between your marketing message and other aspects of the marketing mix will reduce the impact of the message and may even damage your brand image. One strategy for getting attention in the cluttered advertising space is to break the rules of the medium you're using for advertising, but don't break the consistency of your marketing mix. Be consistent to maximize the impact of your message. 
we are confronted with examples of the promotion element of the marketing mix every day. For example, when you watch a video on YouTube, an advertisement often pops up. Or if you go to the grocery store, you will see offers like buy one, get one free, or a temporary discount. I hope this video about the marketing mix was helpful to you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.